Home charges are so expensive, I don't know if I can afford one. Do I really need one? I hear this all the time. Well, Dave takes it on, investigates whether you actually need a home charger, and how much should you pay for one. All new EVs come with a bundle of cables, plugs and adapters, and most of us never know what they are for, let alone use them. So what are they for, and more importantly, who are they for? All EVs have two charger circuits built in. One is for AC, alternating current, that's the electricity you get in your house. The other is for DC, direct current, and is what's used in batteries and computers. The AC power is supplied by a Type 2 plug that plugs into the round part of your EV's charger socket. The DC power is supplied by the two bottom pins on your CCS socket, where you have to remove that stupid little flappy thing to get at them. So what about the bag with the grey or black cables, plugs and adapters? Well, many EV drivers never need to use a public charger. One of the plugs in the bag will be for plugging into your domestic house socket. In the UK, that's a 3-pin, 13-amp socket. In France, they don't have the 3-pin design, so you will have an adapter to be able to plug your car in when you're in France or Germany or anywhere in Europe. So why do we need public chargers at all if we can simply plug into an existing socket at home? Well, two reasons. First, what well, if you're not at home? And the second, the speed of the 13 amp plug is really slow. In relative terms, a 13 amp socket typically gives 3 kilowatts at 16 amps. And that equates to 3 to 4 miles of range added for every hour it is plugged in. It's slow. A 7 kilowatt public charger typically gives 7 kilowatts, but at 32 amps, and that equates to around 21 miles of added range per hour plugged in. Finally, the DC chargers are rated up to 350 kilowatts and can add up to a 1,000 mile range in an hour, or 200 mile in 10 or 15 minutes. That's real speed. So back to the cables. The average UK motorist does less than 10,000 miles per year. That's 200 miles a week, 30 miles a day. If you get back home at 6 o'clock and don't use your EV until 8 o'clock the next morning, then plugging it into a 13 amp socket can easily give you more than 60 miles added. I know you don't, but if somebody works 7 days a week and plugged their car into a 13 amp socket when they were not using it, they would never need a home charger or a public charger. If somebody works five days a week and plugs in each night to a 13 amp socket, they will always have a full battery when they wake up on a Saturday morning. And most EVs have a range of more than 200 miles in the real world. Most UK drivers do not regularly travel 200 miles each and every weekend. So if you only drive 50, 100, 150 miles over the whole weekend, your EV battery will probably be full each Monday morning and definitely full by the Tuesday. Not everyone needs a home charger. Do not ignore the grey cable and the humble 13 amp socket you already have. Where a home charger is definitely needed is where you do not drive just 30 miles each day, but constantly drive over 70 miles, maybe 100 miles every day. Your humble 13 amp socket now cannot replace each night what you use during the day. You need more speed. And that is exactly what a home charger offers. Speed. The average home charger offers 7 kilowatts, but at a full 32 amps, and this gives you around 21 miles per hour plugged in. So if you drive 100 miles during the day and plug it into a home charger, it will take 4 or 5 hours to top it back up again. Easily, plenty of time to be full before you get up for breakfast. Also at the weekend, if you do go and drive 200 miles on a Saturday, it will be full again by the Sunday morning, ready for another 200 mile journey. So many people really believe they have to have a home charger costing upwards of a £1,000 to buy and install when they could quite easily cope with a 13 amp socket. It only costs around 100 or so to get an electrician to install an outdoor waterproof socket and it will do the job for most motorists. But what if it won't and you do actually need a home charger? What should you buy? Well, I will shortly be releasing a full review of available chargers in another episode in this series, including special offers by the utility companies, which they offer if you switch to a cheap off-peak rate with them. But as a general rule, don't be swayed at all by all the fancy things some of these chargers offer. 
Whatever you buy, I can guarantee that after just a few weeks, you will never use them. All you need to be able to do is monitor the state of charge in your car to see if it's full or not. And that always comes free of charge with your own EV app. Even scheduled charging, where it only charges at off-peak rates, that's included free of charge with your car. They all have it. Why spend extra money on a charger that does something that you already have for free? Now, the only exception is many chargers now massively promote intelligent charging, where you leave your car plugged in at all times and it will only ever charge when prices are really low. It monitors the, the grid. Really totally useless if your utility company doesn't offer this as an option. Equally totally useless if your car spends most of every day parked in your work car park, unplugged. Don't be swayed by these heavily promoted features that you cannot use. It's a bit like having 263 programs on your washing machine, and you find out after a week or so you only ever use three. If you buy a car that can use it, and you have a tariff that allows it, and you buy a charger that offers it, and your car is plugged in at home most of the day and night, it might make sense to get one. Otherwise, don't bother. And don't forget, we call them home chargers, but they're not. The so-called chargers only provide a stable, balanced, safe power to your car. The real charger is always built in, free of charge. The Tesla home charger, for example, has no fancy features at all. It doesn't need any of them, as all of that is done by the fancy computer in the car. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful. P please subscribe so you don't miss the home charger review. I'm Dave.